what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back last reaction i did three episodes today i might not even do two just to let you know because i'm trying to get through some other things be prepared for tomorrow but yeah the last episode i watched you know i'm back to check to see if i, I for some reason i only had 10 episodes in my head for this season and it's it's um it's supposed to be 20 episodes for this season so we still have 10 more to go for season five that was my bad that's not on any of y'all that was totally my mistake and now we're here so um me reacting to that episode i was reacting to the episode um as a season finale so that's what i had in my mind so that's why i was a little bit more critical of what was going on some people has also gone on to say in the comment section that this um this season like everything after this just everything the, the writing became bad but that's for me to judge anyways i'm still gonna watch it regardless and stuff like that and, and we'll see if we can connect some dots and see if I come up with the same conclusion, some people say it's not as bad as, you know what I'm saying? Like how it is going now, it's not as bad as Game of Thrones, but it is a kind of a similar situation. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm still enjoying the show. And let's see if we can connect some dots and see if they can um, continue with the great storytelling that they've been doing. That's up for me. Is If I'm still enjoying it and I still see where they're going with the writing... Then I will say that, of course, you know, I'm not going to hold my tongue. So, yes, let's jump into this and let's see what Ivar, King Harold, Lagatha, Bjorn, now Rolo in the mix. Um, let's see what is going to be the aftermath if they're going to. Uh, it seems like they've conceded to Ivar being king or to come into claim because they said he's coming to come gloat or whatever. So I'm guessing he's come. They're going to concede um and they're just gonna call it a day so let's go see what this is all about let's go watch this and we'll be right back here for the review all right so there you go guys episode what is that 11 Season 5, episode 11, man, of Vikings. Um, first off the bat, let me get the, the, the negative things I'm about to say about it. I think the writing of the show has gotten lazy. I think the writer has got lazy. And this is something that we, that, you know, I'm saying, like, over time, either writers change or, write, you know, writer, you know, I mean, writers leave the show and new writers come in trying to continue that story that the writers have set in motion and you can kind of see the shift a lot of times um production wise also i think everything else the aesthetic of the show but there's a there's certain changes that are happening in the story that's kind of like we we went from here to all the way over here you know what i'm saying like we went from here to all the way over here too quick you get what I'm saying? The relationship between Lagatha and Bishop Hegman is is the most obvious. Like, there was no build up for that. To 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 be to having that kind of relationship. You know what I mean? Like, at least we saw what happened between um Ragnar and Queen Aslog. You get what I'm saying? That was another relationship. Um that was it felt forced but then they made up for it you get what i'm saying the meeting the way how they met all of this other stuff the things were set in motion for you to know that this relationship was coming it may not be about love but or all room the way how lagatha and bishop hegman is acting they're acting like they've known each other forever you get what i'm saying so it's kind of like the romance it's just like the chemistry is not there i'm not feeling it like how I would feel the relationship between Lagatha and Ragnar because we know those we, that from episode one, season one. It's just not there. There's no, there's no step. It's like what he just saw her and fell in love with her. Like, 
I mean, I've been watching Lagatha since season one. I'm not in love with the woman. I, you know, I, you know, she's beautiful, you know, would love if I could get to take her out on a date, but love this guy met the woman, saw the woman once. First of all, you were a prisoner. Anywho, you know what I mean? And you, you just like, oh, you, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> that makes no, <laughs> it makes no sense. The relationship, there's no chemistry there. Right. So everything else is cool. Um, the situation with Rolo, the reveal, another thing with the reveal, there were hints leading up to it. Don't get me wrong. There were hints of this way back. I don't remember what season it was or which episode it was. Right. But there were hints that Bjorn is actually Rolo's son. So if that was revealed... I like how they played it off. You get what I'm saying? The reveal, it wasn't, uh, you know, I wish they would have did the build up a lot better, but it was, there was, it was just kind of off the cuff. You get what I'm saying? It felt like it was off the cuff and it wasn't really like, there was no build up to it. It was kind of like, okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I like how they, I guess, you know, if you kind of tell somebody something and they really don't believe, it's kind of like that's how they treated the audience when they were when they were writing. They were like, oh, the audience might not believe, so let's do this just in case. You get what I'm saying? Like, that, that should have been a huge, that should have been a big moment because we've all been skeptical. It was never, it was never a concrete thing. Like, we were like, okay, Bjorn is is Rolo's son, so, you get what I'm saying, like, the reveal was meh, it was okay, but the, 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 the dialogue that came after that was what it was really interesting to me, that they did it, as I said, it's kind of like, they expected the audience to respond a certain way, as in, okay, so, because we know that the audience is going to respond like this, let's have this speech for Bjorn, to say to him you get what i'm saying which is brilliant it's brilliant so the dialogue there was pretty it was harsh but it's the truth you know what i'm saying it's like you may have been laying with lagatha too just like ragnar so who's to tell if you're really my father you know what i'm saying if if truth and in fact i act i act more like ragnar than you so you get what i'm saying so there's no concrete thing to say that he's actually Rolo, unless Lagatha knows for a fact, you know, or she didn't really confirm anything. She just started crying, but whatever. Um, as I said, the reveal was meh, but the dialogue was good. You get what I'm saying? So um, this is my little critique of that. But everything else, story-wise, makes sense. You know, um... You know, so yeah, I'm digging it. I like it. What else do I want to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> I'm here laughing at myself because I'm like, I'm thinking about this show on the level that it was around season two compared to now. It's kind of like, you know, Ivar is just hell bent on this re revenge path, you know, and, and to to you know, the civil war that's happening, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. They're not supposed to be fighting against each other, but I guess that's what it is. And I think Ivar just can't get over that one thing. And a lot of us, you know, people comment, people have commented and said, if it was your mom, you wouldn't just pass over it. Bruh, the destruction that Ivar is causing over this is what I have a problem with. It's the destruction that he's causing over this entire thing. That really got me saying this this dude is crazy. You get what I'm saying? You don't destroy everything in your wake to get revenge. Because after that, when you get that revenge, do you really think he's going to be happy? Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Do you really think he's going to be happy? I completely understand who Ivar is. 
and you know what he's trying to be. I'm surprised that King Harold didn't have anything to say against him being king of Kattegat. Like, even that part of the story is kind of like a plot hole because it's like King Harold never he wanted to be king of all Norway, not just some little spots here and there, a little parts of Norway. He wanted to be king of the entire country or whatever, right? So that's what's his ambition. So what happened to all of that? You know what I'm saying? Like what happened to all of that? Because remember, Ivar told him, I don't want to be king of Kattegat. Do you you guys remember that, right? So all of that, I wonder if all of that is being thrown out the window for something. I don't I don't know what it is. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of stuff that I'm like, the continuance of the story, it just seems like they're skipping over a lot of things that was built up and it's kind of like oh let's just pay off everything in a certain way whatever happens happens i don't want it to be like that but as i said i'm going to continue watching to see what's happening i'm enjoying certain parts of certain aspects of the story but there's just there's certain parts that i'm saying it looks like certain things are being skipped over to satisfy certain things that they want to accomplish because probably they knew that season six was going to be the last season so i'm just i'm just why I'm, I'm i'm keeping an eye i'm keeping an eye as i said i'm still enjoying the show still enjoying the story aspect so i want to see now going forward how alfred is going to handle this situation with um with them defecting to england um how is he going to handle this i think he's going to handle it brilliantly because he knows who his dad is. I think he's going to welcome them. You get what I'm saying? I think he's going to welcome them because of who his dad is. Because he knows that Atherston loved these people. He knows that um, he, he's supposed to know about what is happening with um, that Atherston lived with Lagatha. And Lagatha never treated him bad or anything like that. Like he's supposed to know this he's supposed to know bjorn is probably the only person that never really liked the priest i think if i remember correctly i think he never liked the priest when he was younger right he never liked athelstan if i remember correctly i don't uh you know because he was heavily influenced by floki you know so it was like we'll see we'll see how things turn out but you know, I'm I'm relaxed. I'm seeing where this is going. Hopefully, you guys don't come at my neck too much for having a critical view of the show. But you guys will have your opinion. I will have mine. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you hit that like button. And also, comment if you dare. Anyways, subscribe if you're new. Your boy Terabytes out. Peace.